Vedika Bahel joins us by the bit book. Good evening to you, Vedika. In this edition, summer's just around the corner, especially here in France. People already off on holiday. The talk is of getting a tan. There we go. Uh, or planning to uh, leave for a holiday shortly to get one of those tans. With that in mind, uh, there's been a recent surge in posts online claiming that um, sun cream, or as the Americans like to say, sunscreen, uh, is dangerous and actually increases the risk of cancer. So is this true? Is this fake? Yes, Mark. Is sunscreen or SPF increasing the risk of skin cancer? Well, that is the rumour circulating on social media. Now, we know that ultraviolet radiation is the main cause of melanomas. That's the deadliest form of skin cancer. And that sun cream uh, aims to protect us from that because it filters those dangerous UV rays. But that hasn't stopped anti-sunscreen posts from circulating on social media. Now, particularly in this digital, digital age, many users are turning to TikTok to share their beliefs. This user racked up over 200,000 views on this post where she shared how sunscreen, how dangerous she thought sunscreen was and how she thinks that the chemicals in it absorb into her bloodstream uh, and the body. Similarly, this user here who has over 22,000 followers, well, she says that sunscreen is toxic and I refuse to use it on my family anymore. Um, but it's not just TikTok, you know, it was all over social media that I could see this anti-sunscreen narrative spreading. Here on X, X, this user says that sunscreen is a scam. It increases the risk of melanoma. Similarly, we have another post here from someone who says the sun isn't what causes skin cancer. It is, in fact, sunscreen that does, and it's full of toxic chemicals proven to cause cancer. Now, one graph in particular, I found multiple users citing this graph across different social platforms. Um, this one here that is uh, listed, the, the source is listed as the Connecticut Tumor Registri Registry, but we'll get onto that a little bit later about whether that is uh, true or not. Um, but this graph claims that as the use of sunscreen has increased, so has the rate of mel melanomas and skin cancer. Um, now, as we've seen, many users have listed the ingredients or the chemicals, as they say, or what they, call, what they say is stopping them from using uh, sun cream, why they think it's dangerous, Many of them uh, talked about it online as avobenzone and oxybenzone that they say enter your bloodstream after a day. Um, and that vitamin D, for example, like this user said on Facebook, vitamin D from the sun actually reduces the risk of skin cancer. Now, Mark, there is a lot to unpack here from many different users and many different platforms. There's several myths, as we can see, circulating uh, about the risk of melanoma, uh, vitamin D, the ingredients in sun cream. But what I can say without a doubt, but there is a lot of key context missing uh, and a lot of misleading information shared by these users here. So, Vedika, what does the science say about this anti- sun cream narrative. Well, I want to start with that graph that we looked at earlier, uh, citing the Connecticut Tumor uh, Registry. Well, the uh, Brittany Schaefer, who is the public information officer at the uh, State Department of Public Health in Connecticut, well, she told media DW, in fact, that this graph is inaccurate. She said the original cancer incidence data likely came from the CT tumor registry decades ago, but not these added text boxes regarding the sunscreens. We do not know the source of the actual graphic, but it's not from CTR or the Connecticut Department of Public Health. So there you have it. This graph, one that is very popularly cited by these anti-sun cream users, that has been found as fraudulent. Now, regarding those ingredients that we saw listed there, avobenzone, oxybenzone, the negative press around those likely stems from a 2020 study that found that they are absorbed into the, the blood quickly, but there's also no evidence either that they are harmful. Dr. Jennifer Lin, uh, who works the co-director of Melanoma Risk and Prevention Clinic, she told Harvard Health Online that the concerns about oxybenzone typically cite studies done in rats where the rats were actually fed oxybenzone. And to achieve the equivalent uh, systemic dose in humans, it would take 277 years. So we would have to uh, take a little bit of a pinch of salt with that one. Regarding vitamin D, SPF does not block vitamin D or make you deficient. A King's College study showed that even with high SPF on the skin, the body still absorbs vitamin D from the sun. But there's no ev evidence to back these social media users that believe that vitamin D is enough to stop skin cancer without 
uh, using any uh, protectant on your skin like SPF. Now, overall, to put it simply, Mark, the evidence overwhelmingly shows that, that sun protection in the form of sun cream works to protect us and works to filter those UV rays. For example, a 2019 study uh, compared 1,700 Australians from ages 18 to 40 with and without melanoma, and they found that those who regularly use sun cream uh, in their childhood had a 40% less chance of developing melanoma than those who didn't. So overall, if you are going on holiday this summer, if you're planning to get a tan, take advantage of the science, wear your SPF, protect yourself, uh, and listen to the experts that are trying to save our skin.